Are you ready, Andre? Are you ready? Yeah. All right. What's up? Once again, uh -oh. back in the saddle. Mm -hmm. I am Tramel Ray Isaac, CR Director of Planet Side 2, and this is... Matt Haney, I'm a creative director on Planet Side 2. Yes. 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 Once again. Mm. I got it right this time. Command Center, Planet Side 2. And we have some special guests in the building. Building. Rolling. You guys are echoing the out of it. Come on, guys. Right, One time right. we want to start it off and have it be working. All right, all right. One so, time. So we got a couple guys on the couch. Yep. Introduce yourselves, fellas. I'm uh, F. Afias from Mad Dog uh, Gaming. Okay, good. And, uh, yeah. There you go. And? Hey, everybody. My name is Sardis. I'm with TRG Gaming, uh, www.trggaming.net. Damn, dude, pimping dude, it out. I right? know, dude. He's kidding. <laughs> He's like, dude, yeah, he's trying to get some money up in his mouth. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Click my ads. Exactly. <laughs> you know, trying to <laughs> raise some funds. All right, so we, all right, back back over here. Yeah. Andre, come on now. Stay with me now. Hello. All right. Sorry, we're trying to work out some audio issues. Audio uh, issues. Man, you mean to tell me you can't hear me? Anyway, we're going to roll even though Andre's not ready. So what? All right, so we've got. That's unusual, huh? That's never ready. <laughs> we've got a nice little rundown for you. We've got some pretty good stuff coming up. This, what do we got? Bunch. That's nice. Yeah. So we got an uh, uh, MLG video for you. Mm -hmm. We went to MLG, was that last week? Two weeks, Two weeks ago. ago. It's pretty nice. We had, we'll give you a little rundown on what that looks like. It's pretty fun. Uh, we're going to do talk about some game updates. Game update 12, which just came out two days ago. Yes, sir. Yes, and, sir. And uh, game update 13, which is coming out pretty soon here. Next week, if we're lucky. Yeah. If, mm. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed, for sure. And we hung out with our guys from TRG. They had a barbecue, invited me and Matt to eat up all their food. They didn't have anything for me to eat, so I just kind of sustained, you know. I had a bacon wrapped hot dog. I, I saw what you was eating. I was kind of scared for your health and your heart. Delicious. And uh, I just want to see all those people kill themselves with the nasty burgers and hot dogs. And you don't even know what's in a hot dog, though. Anyway. That's the beauty of it. We, <laughs> gross. Anyway, we got another episode of Cribs with our good friend Brent Rambo. Ooh, Brent Rambo. And if you don't know who Brent Rambo is, you good will you. soon find out. He is world famous for his meme action. So, yeah. And then we've got another rum and cola at the movies. What movies did we get? Did we get some good ones this time? I think so. Yeah. Andre, Andre picked them out. You know how he Andre does. picked them out? <laughs> Andre picks out the no, best, no, no, no. The best movies that. of all times. Yeah. No, we got a nice lineup. And, of course, the favorite spot of the day. Fan Spam? Fan Spam. Fan Spam's good. Fan Spam and is of course, good. We... Who's that? Hello. Hello. Uh, I'm going to have to call you back. I'm uh, in the middle of something. Let me call you back in about 30 minutes. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. So then we're going to do some Q&A at the end, I think, too, right? <laughs> do a Q&A? Yeah. yeah, we're going to you know, take some questions from, from everybody out there. I, so. should give, I should give the stream your phone number you so they could call in their questions. You should not do that. That would be good. See, I'm trying, I'm trying to move this weekend, and I called this dude like... Six times, and dude didn't. He didn't call me back. Oh, so now he want to call me back. Called you back now. And it's too late. I already got somebody to move me. So I'm just like, whatever. Well, I if want you want to, to say, call in your questions to Tremel, don't do that. His phone number is four two five. Go for it. I don't care. <laughs> call, call me. Call me. Four number. No, Give him a gonna, call. If, I'm live gonna, right now. I'm not gonna answer the phone while I'm on. Just line. wait until the Q and A portion. I had to answer that. But anyway, anyway. We got MLG. We're going to find out how long it takes before people figure out that that is actually a real phone number. It probably, you know, five minutes, five minutes. Anyway, we got MLG video. Oh, yeah. And uh, let's Matt, talk about the game update. Yeah, yeah. Let's so do we did game, game update 12. Game update 12. What do we have in there? So, I got a list on it, actually. Look at this. Somebody I don't think, called. I don't think you're going to be called. able to use that thing for a while. I'm hanging up. I just hung up on you. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so. Why you got to play, dude? Game update 12. What? Hey, I didn't give out your whole phone number. That was you. Uh, game I just update started. 12. Go for it. Yeah, Let's game update 12. How, how well you remember this. I got the list. So I was going to give I was gonna give some background. So the last couple weekends, there's been a lot of crap going on. We had E3 a couple weeks ago. Uh, it was 4th of July. So game mm -hmm. update 12 wasn't a huge, huge update. It was mostly bug fixes. We put in some other like commonly requested player features. Um, new loadouts were a big feature that we added in. 
um, some bug fixes and things like that. But for the most part, it was a relatively small uh, update. And Game Update 13 is going to be a bigger update with a lot more stuff in it. And some of the big features that we're adding in for Game Update 13 are implants. Implants are finally coming. Um, I'll be doing a post on implants soon, so people will be able to get an idea of what implants are going to be and how they're going to work, all that kind of stuff. So look forward to seeing that on the forums. I know, look forward to seeing a forums thread. Yep. So what else you got? To for, you got for implants. Sure Christmas morning. So you got that one right. And what's the next one? Implants, and we're probably, probably, maybe going to be putting out um, SMR. We're putting that on test server soon. We're putting on test server hopefully tomorrow. And then, uh, and what's depending on how it works about, out. What's different about SMR? Man, we've done a ton of changes to SMR. We moved around a ton of bases, added a bunch of new sub facilities around the different facilities, changed the flow around quite a bit, and we put the lattice on it. So the same kind of treatment that we did with Game Update 9 on uh, Indar. Mm -hmm. Huge, huge sweeping changes to lots of the facilities. You got a lot more cover, too. On SMR. Added more, more cover, cover. More cover. Added a lot, of, a lot of really good stuff. Basically tightened up the... Uh, the gameplay areas, the, especially the infantry areas, all over SMR. So we're really excited about that. Um, and that's a fairly large update. And it's something we've been working on for quite a while. So that and should be coming with Game Update 13. Not 100% sure yet. It's going on test. We'll see how it works out. Nanite Systems SMG. Yeah. Nanite Systems SMG is coming. coming. New pistols are coming. New pistols. Um, we're going to have some cool stuff for uh, referrals coming out soon. Oh, yeah. So in the next couple weeks, there's going to be a lot of really cool stuff coming Lots to the game. Lots of stuff coming. Um, we're pretty stoked about Game Update 13. And uh, as always, just continuing to work on fixing the bugs that you guys are telling us about, uh, solving whatever balance issues are being added to the game by yeah. our additions yeah. or you know, being it's, changed by the things that we're changing. It's always in flux. We're always changing stuff. Mm -hmm. It's always based on the responses of the, the community. Yeah. You only got one guy to call you. Oh, well, there's only one dude. Hmm. Well, maybe I'll call him back later. Yeah, call him back. It could up. be a chick, and then I'll get in trouble. Hmm? Will you? Yeah. I guess you're married now, huh? Yeah, no, no you can't to be girls. called. Girls, please. You know, yeah. I know it's hard to believe. Only dudes call him, please. Yeah. If, you, if you're looking for a booty no, call, you better no, be a guy no, no, before no, you call her. No, 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 not like that. Just saying. Even if you're a dude and you're trying to come on, yeah, you know, just you know, you can keep it moving. But you know, here we are. All right. So talk about MLG. We had that last week, week and a half, two weeks ago. It was pretty fun. We had a, a couple guys come out from uh, some different outfits representing Nuck and TIW from. Uh, from Waterson server and Future Crew from the Connery yeah, server. Yeah, dude, Future Crew, man. They Woo! sent one yeah. representative each out. Yeah, I mean, it's, you know, thanks for coming out. I appreciate it. But, man, you could have brought your A game, dude. Seriously. They did pretty well. They didn't do well at all. I don't know, man. They, did did I you guys see the real I think, report? I Come think on, all man. three of the groups did did an okay job, considering uh, considering that it was a totally unscripted, open-world yeah. cluster. A fight, you I know? know. I'm it's just really saying, hard for you to like with, be an organized group when within you're within the confines of what they had control over. Look at this. Okay, I'm gonna just go ahead. Yeah, dude, what's up? What you need? <laughs> All right, dude. VS for life. All right, man. I'm on air. Thanks. Peace. People. Really, dude. People. People. Uh, yeah, they they just didn't show up, man. They didn't. They didn't show up. That's what I'm saying. Like within the confines of what they had control over. They they didn't they didn't take control over that and well, that was just the, the very least you could have did, could have did. So I, I understand it's a big stage and it's a different environment and it, you know maybe not working together the, the way that they normally work. But on that day, I think they just didn't they just didn't come together like they normally do. Well, I yeah I have no idea how they normally would be coming together. But the one thing I would say is the that way the competition's kind of structured that we're doing right now for War Report and what we're doing for what we did just now at MLG. Is nothing really indicative of what actual uh, truly competitive gameplay mode? Oh no, that, no doubt, no doubt. I'm it just talking just about that. people trying to fight within an open yeah, world exactly. battle. Exactly. I know I'm at one point TR had like particular... 60 percent of the population in yeah, the area, that was so a little it was a little disheartening. Goofy. But I was just but talking about that particular instance and in, in that you know that time frame. I think you're just trying to talk. What? I think yeah, you're just talking. I, I, think, I told, if you don't appreciate him, no, talking, I, I think him, you call him up. I told him any time of the day. I told day Twiff, I told Twiff while I was there. It's not like I'm talking trash behind his back. I yeah. told him while I was there, dude, don't mess this up. Mm -hmm. And and they just disappointed me. I'm, you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying, they get another chance to do this in the future when we do like the real deal MLG. So uh, I looked at I looked at the scores. I had them pull up all the scores for all that stuff. And despite those guys didn't. I think they didn't capture the the base. There were three different base captures that they sort yeah. of needed to do as part of the war report, and they didn't succeed in that. But in terms of like the 
the overall stats for the players, the future crew guys were on the higher end by far. All right, well, we'll give them that. We'll give they're, them they're that. They're killers. They're All farmers, right. man. That whole outfit basically just farms. They don't know how to capture bases. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dude, are yeah. you on Connery too? Yeah. Isn't it yeah. the worst? Uh, I play NC on Connery, and, and that's painful just from the from the start, playing NC on Connery. But then playing against Future Crew is so bad. You know when you yeah. see a Future Crew guy, yeah, you know you're not getting that base. Oh, God. Yeah. you got to give him credit, too. When you see one Future Crew guy, you're going to see the whole rest of them there working, too. Right. I mean, they yeah. stick together, and they're good at killing people. Right. Sure. Yeah, kill just, if it was just about a kill fest, then they, yeah, they won. The yeah, you got to yeah. have, yeah. have something else. You got to have something. Anyway, we got a video. all the time. Yeah. Take them down a bunch. We got a video showing you what uh, a little bit of oh, yeah. MLG. MLG, MLG was all about. Let's so, take a look. Andre, do it. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Planet Side 2 MLG Day 1 here at Anaheim. And we're excited. Are you excited? Oh, I'm excited. in with like ever specific lights. to a very special edition of The War Report, live from MLG Anaheim. I'm so excited to be here. We have three amazing outfits that are going to be battling for your entertainment and for ours as well. Our wrap up for day three MLG Anaheim. Uh, we had a blast here. It's amazing. See you in game and in the Nexus. Bye bye. Bye. Come on. Uh, oh, dude, so I gotta go, CBS man. Like We're right back on the camera. Good for him. Yeah. Water so water. Yes, you gotta stay strong on there, man. What'd you say? Say 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 something inspirational. Go ahead. What? <laughs> Never mind, dude. Forget it. You had your chance. Bye. Oh. <laughs> Oh, dude, yeah, say something to all the VS out there. Go ahead. Oh, all right, dude, later. <laughs> Jeez. Uh, see, try, I try to give the people uh, an typical, opportunity. Typical. And, you know, you blew it. It's what just like, you, you know, you get one shot, dude. It's just like eight mile. Mm -hmm. You get one shot to you do it. You got one shot. You got one shot. And you mm -hmm. just blew it. Anyway, yep. our good friends at, uh, with the TRG outfit. I don't like those guys, the TRG guys. I went thinking it was going to be some decent food, but right. yeah, I figured I'd go anyway. So for you, you know, a, a bacon-covered hot dog does not constitute decent food? Not quite. Not quite. Hmm. No, no, it wasn't even veg. No, I don't no, even like. Burger. I don't even like tofu. Dude. No, he That's wants like thing. green tea and melons. Yeah, dude. Yeah, <laughs> yeah no, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to get a in the speedo, no man. I can't be. <laughs> Can't be eating hot dogs, yeah. man. Anyway, we we you know they had a barbecue, invited a bunch of their friends, and they decided to invite us too. Yeah. <laughs> so, we of course I filmed it, and here here it goes. I brought beer. My name is uh, TRG Sardis. I'm over here at a barbecue right now with a bunch of my friends from the outfit. 
Uh, I play with TRG on Connery. My name is Sean McCombs. I, uh, I play on Connery. My game name is 250SX. I play with uh, the outfit TRG. All right, my name is Reborn. Um, I play on Connery. My name is Chewy. I play on uh, server Connery. Well, I like to play the Heavy Assault and Medic. Engineer, and I sit in the cockpit of a mosquito. I mostly play Heavy Assault. My favorite class is probably the Heavy Assault. And I mostly play Heavy Assault and Medic class. I've been playing Planetside for over 10 years now. I have to play Planetside. The reason why I like playing is just the, the community of it, usually. Honestly, the community is the best. I love Planetside because of the scale and all the players. It's just incredible. It, it changes the way that you think about people online. And playing it, I can play with it. DRG on Connery. Hold up. Your name is Planet yeah. and you play Planet Side. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm working towards the uh, title Captain Planet so I can be. Oh, that's horrible. Horrible. <laughs> TRG stands for the Republican Guard. You can find out about us at www.trggaming.net. <laughs> and we're back. <laughs> Oh, sweet. All right, so that was pretty cool, man. I'm glad that they uh, invited us out. I had a lot of fun, and that's it's sweet. You guys actually have a ton of ton of dudes that are just here in San Diego. Yeah, yeah. I didn't even know until we planned to do that. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, it's crazy, and I live, like, right around the corner from that dude. Yeah. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. You guys have shabby. a big pack of, uh, of San Diego. Yeah, uh, TRG. Going to SOE Live. Oh, yeah, nice. SOE Live, August 1st through the 4th. Don't forget. Mm -hmm. I'll be in the Speedo. Matt's going to join in, too. I'm not going to wear a Speedo, though. You're going to do it. <laughs> I'm, I bought an extra one just for you. Right. You can get the hairs, dude. The hairs. The hairs are going to be like this. The good thing speedo. about the hairs Whoop. is I get extra volume inside the Speedo. Uh, yeah, yeah. You know they give mean? you a little puff. A little puff. A little puff. A little right. extra puff. It looks like a little egg in a nest. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> anyway. We got another great episode of Cribs. Oh, yeah, Cribs. With our very own Brent Rambo. And that was, uh, well, Brent Rambo's famous for some little internet thing that he did that way back in the day that kind of blew up. Yeah, he's world famous. Yeah, like, what was it, like 20 years later, 30 years later? Something like that. He had no idea. This is what, to, this is, to the kids out there, mm -hmm. the internet never forgets. That's true, man. Never forgets. So, Stop all the Andre, sex, could you please roll the next episode of, really? <laughs> See if homeboy's at home. Hey, what's, what's going on? Come on in. All right. Let's see the the setup you got here. Hey, my name is Brent Rambo, and I'm the executive director of technology for Sony Online Entertainment. And today, I'm going to give you a little introduction of my setup. The entire system is powered by a, a dual CPU Xeon 3.46 gigahertz machine. It's all water-cooled, utilizing nickel-plated blocks and chrome fittings. It's all custom-built by myself. It's powering two 30-inch Dell monitors uh, for basically my gaming. I'm running on an NVIDIA GTX 680 to, to power all my gaming needs. Through Synergy, I have my 65-inch plasma screen up there, which I can uh, you know, play games on. I've got my Xbox 360, my PlayStation 3. Um, or, or the computer, I can pipe any signal I want there through my receiver or through my soundboard. So on the right hand side, uh, I'm a bit into music, so you'll see I've got some studio monitors here. I do a lot of audio composition, so I've got a Mackie soundboard that I pipe all my audio through and I can use two channel stereo with my studio monitors, or I can pipe it through the 5-1 surround home theater in the room. So depending on what my needs are, whether I'm gaming or whether I'm doing music composition, I can flip the audio around, change the source, change the destination, all of the power of my remotes. So, got a couple tablets here, uh, so when I feel like not doing any PC gaming, I can do some tablet gaming. Got an Android and an iPad, uh, so those are fun for, you know, playing web games and things like that. But this is basically it. This is, uh, you know, kind of where it all happens. What's that thing over there, dude? Uh, that's just a music streaming server, so if I want to pipe audio to other areas of the house or to this room, I can do it and I can control it all through that machine. 
So I'm pretty heavy into technology. I've been working in the industry for about 20 years. I was a die-hard MMO player back in EverQuest Beta. Played that for about six years. Was a top 10 guild leader worldwide. Then moved on to World of Warcraft. Did that also for about six years. Um, you know, meanwhile, trying to keep my day job down and you know building games for for the community. But I've been always been an MMO fan, and that's one of my big draws to Planet Side Two. Is it's very immersive compared to your small tournament type FPSs. I really like the fact that there's you know thousands of people on a server, and I really have a draw to that that massive amount of players online, and that's why I love this game. So I currently play on the Matherson server, and I'm a very big fan of Banu. Uh, Infiltrator's the, my class of choice. Unfortunately, Sony keeps me very busy working on games, so I don't get to play as much as I like, but I'm a real big fan of just sneaking up, hiding in small bushes, you know, headshotting people to death, and it's just what I love to do. I'm all about sniping. So that's about all I got for you today, Tramel. I think I need to, to get out of here. I gotta get back to work, because I got some games to develop for SOE. They're pretty demanding. Every child star has a signature move. And I hear that you've got one, so Mr. Rambo, please give us the move. <laughs> wow, Brent Rambo. Brent oh Rambo. my god, that's priceless. See? Very on. Bet you didn't know that we had Brent Rambo here. Dude, he works Top here. Top talent. I am. So humbled right? by his presence. I know. That was hilarious. Dude. It was. Brent Rambo. That's nice, though. I'm glad he allowed us into his home. And thanks a lot for doing that because I know you was, you know, people kept asking you. And he was like, ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, no, he was trying to keep it on the down low. Yeah, he like, dude, how many people named Brent Rambo are, yeah. like, world famous yeah, he, memes? He didn't want to. And he, he looks exactly the same He's as he did same. when he was, like, nine years flat old top, too. like, the he same exactly cut, the same. dude. Yeah. That's crazy, dude. So good. So what else we got going on? Next up, of we course, got some rum and cola. Rum and cola. Oh, let me see the intro. Oh, oh that dude is so smooth. Still got those sunglasses. Oh, uh, look at them. Is that the replacement? The replacement sunglasses? Huh? No, these are the these are those ones. Oh, yes. These Very are those nice. Ones. All right, what these do we got up first? Andre, first video of the day goes to black screen. No, uh, I forget which one this one is. I don't know. Plant side to surprise. I think he's gonna do some uh, some scythe mowing. Oh, this nice. Is this it? The yes. scythe mowing. Surprise. By Mikey Spud F from YouTube. He's gonna. I think he's gonna take some cats off on the. Um, was he on? Gonna be on the. Uh, yeah, the bio bio dome. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's gonna take them all off. He's gonna sweep it. Yep. Sweep it. It's gonna be good. Oh. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Love doing that, man. That's, That's the great. best. Oh, somebody took him out. So Too good. bad. Yeah. Next, next video what we got here. Painted death intro rough copy. What now? What number is that, dude? Is that like eleven? What is that? Mm. What number is that? I X I. Yeah. What? Is that was it twelve? No, it's ten's X, dude. I X is nine. And nine. Add one to make it 10. Oh, what so the? He's doing it wrong. You can't put the I after the X. I don't even remember this video. Yeah. Anyway, oh yeah, yeah, it's a, a Nanite security's camera. It's like he's like, uh, yeah, I remember this one. It looks pretty cool. Good. Oh yeah, here's Aries Reborn. This, cracks me up. this was yeah. funny as oh, crap. The best thing about this was the the talking this was lips. Their, like, this was their like welcome to our new outfit video, and, and they're then already they... a brand new outfit again after this one already came out. Yeah, they've already it was crazy changed though. Their outfit again. I love that one. How do they do the mouth thing though? <laughs> the lip sync. Yeah, the lip sync thing. It was crazy. That was like some Hollywood magic. That was pretty nice. Mirrors. And it was, here you go. Plan side two mini play, and uh, the Aver gamers. I, this this one I put this one in here, because this guy shoots like a million bullets and doesn't hit one person, dude, right? except for anybody. He's like shooting that guy like five miles away, and he completely misses everybody he's just here for the spectacle he's just shooting he's just yeah. in the he's in the moment he's like oh i'm gonna shoot something he's, he hasn't he's shot he hasn't yeah. shot a damn thing well he's tr yeah so he's yeah. like that's that's what they do yeah. i think yeah i think he's just he's just firing general direction They're living out their stormtrooper <laughs> fantasies by just like <laughs> <laughs> firing a general direction hopefully hit somebody this nice. guy hits nobody 
<laughs> All right, here's Rail. Once again, Warpath Man. Rail. Rail, doing if, you guys, if you guys seriously need to check out some tips about how to play Planetside 2 better, you should go to Rail's channel and look. He's got all these kick-ass videos that really give you some cool info about stuff. Exactly. He's doing his little tips, letting people know that you can change your direction while you're on the pads and stuff mm -hmm. slightly, mm -hmm. you know, not too much. But, uh, okay, here you go. Frankie P. Frankie on PC. Frankie on PC, 1080p. Yeah, I heard he was, uh, I heard he he's got banned. Deal. I heard he got banned for a minute. Oh yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't know. know. He's a he's a big he's a big time YouTuber. Yeah, he got he get his, he's racking up some kills with this dude. This this sniper action. He's using the ghost here. I don't know. He's he's, ca he's capping some heads off. That's the parallax, I think. He's yeah, doing some action. serious business though. And then then he he tries to take some. Who, to who, who did that? Top really? was planet side too. Okay, and then he's you know he's using the commissioner. He takes that out. He's gonna yeah, do some serious are business. We got, are, did we Did you start uh, topless planet side too? Oh, forget it. All right, next. Anyway, dude. See, this is what happens when Die Line is not here. You get like a new dude in here trying to change stuff. Anyway, Olga this chick, K Games. Olga K Games plays a lot of games. Apparently, not a lot of planet side too. But hey, you know, can nobody can always be pros. But she decided to say she's gonna be playing topless. Obviously, we can't see much. But the fact that she doesn't have a shirt on up to like this point, maybe she's got like a halter top on. Who knows? But the point is, it's the thought. You're filling the in thought? the blank. Yeah, you're filling in the blanks in your mind. You're like, is she really topless? It's the insinuation. And yeah, yeah. And then I you're see. like trying to get, you know, do this on the monitor. Right what? Hold on. She's about to fly. Oh, she's going to do some flying? This is disastrous, dude. Seriously. Yeah, she's not gonna very come and good, get me. but you know, practice makes perfect. Where are you at? You know? Oh my God, I'm in it. Okay, oh so here she goes. She's gonna, okay, she's go. gonna do a thing. Oh, oh no, and she no, ejects. No, perfect. No, 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 no. Yes. Oh, First timer. Oh. That's what they do every time. I First time. I, I bet this has more views than any other she's, video on YouTube for our I, game, though. I guarantee you. Because you put topless plants on, boom, bam, millions. Hey, got your attention. Hey, I had to throw it in there. Had to throw it in there. And then see, see, this is what I'll get. All right, you know, we got anything else after this? Okay, so this is the last one. So I'm gonna make a little commentary. Okay. And get on my soapbox a little bit. Oh, this is yeah. it's a rant, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is how it go. This is like the Dennis Miller portion of the show. I'll so, just squeeze off here and <laughs> zoom in. So no, I I, I I put this, I tweet this this video, the topless video, right? Uh -huh. And then I get all these, you know, people saying, Oh, this is a disgrace to female gamers all around. I'm like, look, man, bottom line is I anything I do. Don't spread that to the rest of the black people on the planet. That's got mm. nothing to do with them. So if she's playing topless, don't say all girl gamers are disgusted. She's doing her thing. Let her do her thing. Let Matt do his thing. Let me do my thing. You can't say that one person is a representative of everybody else that's just like them. So what just, about Congress people though? They're like technically a representative. Exactly, they get paid to do that. She's just she's playing, playing the game. She probably gets paid to do that too. Nobody, Nobody told, told her to say, to she, she never said, hey, I represent all female gamers out there and I'm gonna take my boobs out and show it on plant side too. Nobody said that, she never said that. So don't, don't put that weight on her, man. If she wanted to carry the mantle for all female gamers and clean up her act and not show her boobs, that's fine, she can do that. But if she wanna keep showing them boobs, hey, more power to you, man. That's what I'm saying. All right, anyway. I have nothing of value to, to add show. to this conversation. All right, so favorite segment uh, of the day. What's it going to be? It is Fan Spam. Remember we used to have music for Fan Spam? Yeah, that was, was like. Dun, 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 yeah, that was back when they didn't want us to comment dun, 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 on them and stuff. But see, now. Remember we got yeah, yelled at for slamming on these pictures? Yeah, the first somebody, time? somebody was like, oh, man. Don't slam on the don't, pictures. Don't slam on the pictures. Not but people like, they, they like that. They, they like, like a little critique. A little critique. Look at this. This is actually pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty nice. A little nice pixel little, art. Little, Look to it. Yeah, it's a nice little sword. Mm-hmm. The mag saber. Coming pretty soon. Good. Coming soon. We could use that as concept art for the uh, upcoming yeah. secret weapons that we're creating. Oh, yeah. You know, and, you know, throw that the art swords. It. Oh, yeah. Okay, so this one is from Esther is that Wu. Esther's? Esther Wu. She's who really is talented. Our girl scholarship mm -hmm. uh, winner. Of this year, and she's working on Planet Side too. Was this the one that she submitted that got her the? Yeah, it is. Okay, and cool. It's, uh, it's pretty nice. She's doing some really cool uh, concepts for the vinyl right now, and she's working on some nanite system stuff. So, pretty soon you'll start to see her stuff in the game. She's a really good artist, and I uh, wish her the best of luck. We only get her for 10, 10 weeks, 
she so, kind of gets a crash course on what it's like to actually work on yeah, a dev team, yeah, and yeah. we get a little bit of extra. Yeah, we gave her we gave her some pretty hard stuff, and she stepped it up, and yeah. you know, you know, rose to the challenge and actually kicked out some really cool stuff. She's making some cool stuff. You Vanu guys are gonna get to see oh, some yeah. of the stuff that she's working it's on too. Be nice. All right, next. Oh, it's our good friend hey, Pete. Hey, look at that. There you go. I don't even know why. How's that fan it. spam? I don't know. What I, the hell is this? I thought these guys was pretty funny, but these, yeah, yeah. dude, I'm not done talking about it. Come on. Who's no, doing this? Come on. What All right, so Pete, Pete, <laughs> who's our friends from uh, ProSieben. Yeah. And I guess where was, where was this at? This was at. Uh, was it, was it? That's E3. That's E3. Yeah. E3. They they were representing for ProSieben at E3. Yep. And uh, you know, having fun. They've got their own show too. So they anybody do. in um, in the European countries. Stay tuned to their uh, I'm still show. trying to figure out how this is fan spam. It's, I thought it was nice to talk about our partners in Europe. There you go. I'm so confused. There you go. It's just it was, you know, throw some stuff. This is Next what I get one. for sleeping through pre-production. That's what happens. Next one. Seriously? Next one, dude. Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> how much next one do I need to say? Okay. Obviously, somebody's hunting mosquitoes. Yeah, mosquito with slapping. With a vino <laughs> fly swatter. That's kind of cool. pretty sweet. Like that. And this one's, uh, you know, I thought it was pretty cool. It's nice, nicely rendered. That's funny. That's very GU cartoony. Comics, huh? I don't know. Yeah, that's I guess GU so, comic. probably. That's probably. Woody, dude. That's Woody from GU. It's pretty good. Yep. Pretty damn cool. good. Nice stuff. Oh, I like this one a lot. Yeah, uh, Andre found this one. I didn't even find it. This is pretty cool. It's actually, uh, you know, it's a nice already. representation of. What would happen if a guy was actually in the mag suit, yeah. got dented up, and tried to get the hell out of it? I like his cold, dead eyes. Like he's, he's like, seen oh, so much suffering, he's so and they're tired, just bolting dude. more ammo on he's, him. And, oh. Are they fixing him, or are they putting more stuff on him? It, it looks, looks like, like they're, they're fixing him. They're fixing him up and reloading him and stuff. And he's like, he's oh, in the pit. man, come on, dude. Really? I got to go back out there again? Yeah. And that's from Aldo Art. This guy has a bunch of really cool stuff on his website. You really? should check it out. I should go check mm -hmm. it out. He's got some cool, cool stuff. There you go. I love the fact that the devil dog says Sardis. I love the fact that he's got a tie on, dude. Check it out. Yeah, he's I'm, got a tie and a turtleneck on at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> it's like a clip-on tie with a turtleneck. <laughs> it's sweet. There you go. Somebody built a mosquito that's out of pretty, Legos. That's pretty sweet. Pretty nice. Yeah. Nicely. I've been done. seeing a lot of really cool Lego uh, Planet Side stuff lately. We should do a whole fan spam that, that is, is Lego, Lego creations because I've seen a bunch of dudes on Reddit making guns of different types, really? making all kinds of different stuff. So, Send yeah. me those links. We'll throw those out there. Yeah, we'll do a Lego, a Lego right. episode. Oh, we can get Level Cap involved. Oh, Level Cap will get yeah, super he's involved. Seriously, Lego. Man. He'll make a BFR, like a that, life size BFR out of Legos. Is, he's Lego. Have you seen out. that dude's Lego collection? No, it's insane. He's dude. Go check out the episode we did with him. It's mm -hmm. insane. All right. He's got a wall of them. There you call go. them an exit spawn. Yeah, people need to do that a little bit more often. A little often. bit. A little bit. <laughs> Next. There you go. A little anime style. That's cool. A little TR chick with the cloak and dress. Yeah. Not very appropriate for TR, though. I don't know. The trench coat? Is that a trench coat? It looks like it could be a trench coat. It probably is a trench coat. Yeah. I don't know. Hard to tell. Trench coat works. Vanu chick's hiding her private parts. Looks like it. Yep. Yep. Don't want those sticking out. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See, it's all kinds, all kinds of levels of quality. <laughs> <laughs> all kinds. I do not discriminate when it comes to Plans I2 art. This is funny as hell. All kinds of types yeah. of <laughs> quality stuff, man. Derp Tell side. You. It's nice. I want to see right. more of those comics. It's our good friend, Shit Pete. Oh, dude, Shit Pete. Shit Pete, back dude. at it again? I don't know if he's is back at it. One? It might be an old one that I just found, but... Shit, Pete. You know where you been, Shit, Pete? Scroll this. Scroll yeah, it. Yeah, scroll it down. It's it's in some exactly. more some more stuff. So it's like, it's pretty long. It's a nice little page. Is it? Yeah, <laughs> yeah Shit, Pete. I haven't seen this one in in, uh, in the, the rotation, so I had to throw that in there. Brrr. We got to put that back in the game. Yeah. We got to put that back in the game. Yeah, Shit, Pete, man. I, I wish oh. Shit, Pete would get back into making making comics. I know. Where you been, Shit, Pete? Do you remember he made like a little web show under the blanket where he had like a green blanket that he green screened and him and his buddy were under there and they were showing all the uh, stuff oh. like on top of the blanket? I didn't, I didn't see that one. It was so Hey, dude, what man. happened to us up in the corner? What, what the hell? Really... Yeah, it's, geez, come on, dude. Production value below 70. <laughs> <laughs> I felt you didn't add anything to the chat. Oh, yeah, that's true. We were, cover, we're covering up the jokes. Andre. Do you like right. how the spawn room says pwn at the end? Yeah. Pretty yeah, clever, pretty, huh? Pretty nice. 
Chip Pete has an eye for it? detail. That, that's it? Come on now. That's it. It's kind of long. It. And that's it for fans. Bam. Man, I can't Ooh. wait for the Lego episode now. I, you now just, I'm stoked. I know. You just invented that one. I think somebody should do a life-size or a, a bust, a Higby bust. A Higby out bust? Of Legos. Out of Legos? <laughs> yeah, dude. Or at least just the hair. Everybody yeah. seems to like Higby hair, apparently. So, All right, so it is that time to take some if questions. If you call Termel, you, you heard his phone number earlier today. Call him up anytime, day or night, and request Higby hair. Take some questions. Let's take some questions. If you want to call and ask a question, go ahead. Do it. I don't yeah. care. Go ahead. Go for it. I don't even put it on, put it on ring. While we're waiting for questions, let's talk about uh, you guys still have time to sign up for SOE Live. Oh, yeah, definitely. Definitely. SOE Live. It's coming in two weeks. Yeah. A little over two weeks. August 1st through the 4th. And we've got, what was the, the count? We've got over, like over about 150, 100, plant, yeah, side 150 people plant side people coming. So it's going to be a party. It's going to be a party. Matt's going to be out there We can fill up a bio lab with that many thing. people. <laughs> it's going to be pretty sweet. I'm yeah. looking forward to that. It's going to be nice. So be really go, go to SOE Live. Dot, was it SOE dot com slash, slash SOE, SOE Live. Yep, sign up. Sign up. And uh, was, I think it's the 15th. It's the it's 15th is the last, last day? To sign up. This so was, it's almost days left. like a couple days, man. You, you gotta got hurry up. Four days left. Hurry up. Sardis, Sardis is going. Sardis is going. You're gonna Are win the going? tournament. I'm not going. What, what the come hell? On. Oh, come on. Work, man. No. Ah, oh. Come on. All four days, dude. Come on. Yeah. It's just like five hours away. It's gonna be fun, dude. We're gonna peer pressure you into going. By the time you leave go. the studio, you cannot you're going. go one day, dude. After work, at least after work, dude. Come, come on. Exactly. exactly. Go out Friday night. That's true. Just drink yeah, a ton of rock stars on the way out there. <laughs> party don't Stay start till. The there you dude, go. I'm telling you, man. Five party energies, don't start exactly. till the, the, the sun go down. So it's all good. So just come on out. I'm a, I'm a, I'm getting ready for my pool party debut mm -hmm. in my speedo. Yep. I got it in the mail the other day, and I was not impressed with the amount of fabric that was not there in the speedo. So it needed less. It needed fabric? more fabric. <laughs> It needed more. It was a little bit smaller than I, I pictured it in the, the photo. Group. Oh, yeah? I thought, you know, it was... I think that's the that's the beauty of the Speedo, though, right? Is it's no. supposed to push those kind of boundaries. No, nah, no. Nah. I thought... I ordered a particular one that was going to give me a little bit more coverage, but I didn't want to be all barat with it and, you know, no. just like banana hammock style. Oh, <laughs> no, yeah. No, I think banana hammock is the way to do it. No, nah, it's a little bit too much shaving to have to go on. What? I can't... I can't do it because if I have to shave that much, I'm gonna be itching for weeks. That's no, not you gotta work. wax, dude. F that. You gotta get the baseball yeah. special, bat balls and dugout. No, <laughs> no, not gonna happen. Huh? Let's take some questions. Why not? <laughs> okay. Let's questions. take some questions. Yeah. Oh uh, no. Let's see. Uh, who is what? There's no questions. It's no just questions. A bunch of people. Same banana hammock once again. Question. Here it is. Decreased FPS and increased FPS stuttering since the patch. Is that a question? I don't know. It was a statement. You know, every time we do an update, we always end up having a certain group of people who are saying, hey, my, my frames per second are worse, and a certain group that are saying, hey, it's so much better, whatever you guys did is awesome. You know, it's sort of mysterious how that works sometimes. Some people get affected by stuff. The new NVIDIA update helped a lot. The new yeah. driver update? Yes. Yeah, I've heard that too. Yeah, so if you haven't um, got a new NVIDIA update, um, go out and get it. Yeah. It's free, obviously. It's free. Yeah, it's always worth keeping your drivers up to date. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, for sure. You know, every once in a while. Big ups to NVIDIA. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, I found out what that award was for. Oh, yeah, no, I saw that. <laughs> I thought that was funny. That was That's funny. That's awesome. For sure. so, oh, we got a caller. We got a call? Is this yeah, a question? This is 614, is dude. This what dude is again? the deal with the 614? I don't know. It's the same Hello? person. Hello? Yeah, what's the question? I put it up to the. Hold on, hold on. Let me, hold on. Let me put you on, let me put you on, uh, on blast. Hold on. My question is, do you guys have any solid plans for population balances? Solid plans for population balances. Hang right. up the phone. I'm hanging up now. <laughs> All right, we're going to answer this on, on air, so stay tuned. All right, bye. So we know that population balance is actually a problem on a few servers. On most servers, it's actually pretty okay. On Connery, mm -hmm. for instance, it's pretty much all right. On uh, some of the larger European servers, it's pretty okay. On some servers, it's really bad. On the East Coast servers right now, it's kind of gnarly. Um, and... It's something that we are working on. We just put in with G12 uh, the ability for us to recommend servers differently based on what empire of character you're uh, trying to create. So a lot of people say, well, I don't know how that's going to actually help. It actually helps a lot. We get a pretty crazy amount of new characters created per day, a pretty large number of new players coming into the game every day. Um, so when we make a server the recommended server, it can go from being the least populated server to being the most populated server basically overnight. 
So our hope is by making these the recommended servers per faction, we can do a pretty big jump in the number of players on those factions. Um, and we'll take a look at how that works over the course of the next few days. And if we need to do more to uh, help out with either the fourth faction problem, which is a problem with alerts where people will jump over to the winning faction to be able to gain certs, um, or if we need to do something sort of to fix, for instance, the problem that's going on on Matherson where a large percentage of the population is VS and the other two empires have a smaller population. Um, you know, we're going to continue to monitor that. It's obviously something that we care a lot about, we do know about, and we are working on different solutions for. Um, so we'll see how it works out with the thing that we just did. Hopefully it works out well. And uh, if not, we'll keep on doing more stuff. Yep, exactly. What, what's next? What's next, question? Uh, do you want to give out your phone number again? So uh, call again? When, will, when are Infiltrator Stealth Camo Armor... Oh, when is that coming out? Stealth Camo Armor? Uh, no, the, the armor attachments for the Stealth. The, the Stealth that, update, when is that coming out? The Infiltrator update's probably yep. going to be game update 14. All right, so next update after 13. <laughs> but we're also, like, we're working right now on the ESF update, which is going to be coming in parts. So game update 13 is going to have some pieces of it. Game update 13 is going to have experience changes. So guys that bail out of an airplane, for instance, or log out, you'll get kill credit for those guys if you've damaged them recently. Um, so, you know, dudes like Daddy who just bails out to keep his KDR really high. Oh, dude, why you put him on blast, huh? dude? Because he's, like, the classic example. Oh, so, sad. Like, Sorry that, about that, That's Daddy. not going to work too great anymore. Um, you better get a new tactic, bro. <laughs> <laughs> you need a new tactic for sure. All right. So that's going to be coming with the next update. Some changes to the default nose cannons to make them a little bit cooler, make them a little bit uh, more uh, competitive between each one of the empires is, are coming. And then we're going to be doing new weapons. The biggest thing that we're going to be changing is the way lock-on mechanics work with that update. And we're waiting to release a lot of the new weapons until we change those lock-on uh, lock and flare mechanics since some of them rely on that stuff and we don't want to release the weapons and then a couple weeks later release new lock-on mechanics that invalidate the weapons that got created earlier. So we're trying to pace it all out so it comes at the same time. Somebody asked about outfit logos and I saw on the board today GU14 possibly mm -hmm. got outfit uh, outfit improvements mm -hmm. and outfit, uh, outfit decals. decals. Yep. So hopefully GU14 will have some outfit decals and some functionality there. Yep. Um, that's, the, that's the plan. Might slip into 15, but a couple weeks, maybe a month. Yep. Basically, so, coming soon. every two weeks we release an update. When things are ready, they go in that update. If they take a little bit longer, they slip to the next update. There it is. Just how it goes. Somebody was saying game update 13 has got outfits control bases when you have enough contribute to, you contribute to the base. That's something. probably going to be game update 14. 14. Yeah. yeah. Yep. All right. What else do we got here? Um, we got one more. Where's my reach cast decal? D Derringer, come on, dude. Seriously. I barely even like y'all. So, you know, for me to even do a decal for y'all is like stretching it. So I might think about it. If you're real nice and I get some emos next time I come to St. Louis, I'll put it in. <laughs> there it is. Somebody's asking about Lumi wheels. Oh, uh, yeah. Who is that? Luma wheels? Yeah, Sir Kane, dude. I thought those were. Cool. I know, but dude, Kane, come on, man. You bombard me with the same idea. Like, he's like, oh, I did it on the Harasser. Hey, and then I did it on the Sunder. I get it, dude. <laughs> we're going to make a bunch of them. We're going to do it. So We're going to do it. We're going to do it. So we're going to do it. Send, well, how about this? Send me one for the Prowler. And then mm. maybe I'll think about it. Like, come on, dude. It's the same thing. Mag if we do ones. one. Yeah, we'll do Mag the Rider, Rider wheels. Ones. We'll put wheels on a Mag Rider <laughs> just for Sir Kane. <laughs> Done deal. Perfect. So yeah, we're gonna do that, man. It's easy pickings. You know, if we put wheels on the Mag Rider, the NC and the TR would be pissed off because they would say that that's like a faction specific they trait probably that they had, would, and the VS they like, oh, would. now the VS are moving yeah. in on our our wheels. Depends on how cheese ball the wheels would. <laughs> I could see him like a little spindly leg with people, like a bicycle always, wheel on the side. Always complaining. People always complaining. Yeah, you can't can't please him, dude. Can't please him. All right, I, let's I, do one more I, question. All right, one more. Let's Give do us it. a good one. Call uh, Tremel's phone. When will we get our hands on Nanite Systems SMG on the test server? Maybe, maybe the update tomorrow. So we're working on an update to test server. Hopefully it's out tomorrow night. By tomorrow night, I mean like Friday nighttime, not tonight at midnight like our usual updates are. Um, our test server updates come in the afternoon and evening. But uh, hopefully we get that up before this weekend along with the SMR changes and other stuff. So should be a big update to test, which will give you guys a glimpse into what's coming up with GU13. Yep. 
And that is all. That's it. That's it, folks. Thank God. No more calls. No more calls, no more questions. Make sure that you give Tramel a call. Hey, Anytime, dude, day or night. Where are our Let tags, dude? Give us a tag. What the friggin'. Let him know you want the Higby hair. There, there. Right. Now it's complete. Just call him 3 o'clock in the morning, 4 o'clock in the morning, anytime. You call me 3 o'clock in the morning, I'm back tracing your number and I'm finding you. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me, I will find you. He will. Anyway, follow us on Twitter. Uh, no, M. Higby. Oh, uh, do we got to do it? What is this? It. Uh, you do it once? No. Uh, M. Higby. <laughs> at M. Higby. And at P.S. Underscore, underscore tray. There you go. Let's go ahead and pull this down. Can you rotate it? No, you can't. You can't. You can't do anything like that. It's just like. All right, there you go. And uh, don't forget to sign up for SOE Live. I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> Perfect. We've got like a couple days left. August 15th is the date. The de no, what? July 15th is the deadline to uh, sign up for SOE Live. August 1st through the 4th. Planet Hollywood, Vegas. See you there. And what else do we have? Oh, we, we're going to Gamescom. Going to Gamescom. If you're in Germany, come have some pork knuckle with us. Basti, we'll see you up in there. Yep. Sorry you didn't win, brother. You should have fought harder. Fought harder. <laughs> I looked at his score. It was terrible. He wasn't even close. He was in what the top baddie. ten. What a baddie. He was in the top oh, ten. Terrible Basti. Basti, I'm disappointed don't, in you. don't trip, dude. He was in the top ten, man. I mean... Looks like the, the bottom of the top ten, though. The NC cheated, obviously, because mm. they were like three times as many points. It's kind of crazy. So yep. cheated. Whatever. Anyway, three times better. Cheated. Basti, I buy you a nice cold drink when I get there, man. Yep. Just for, for your efforts. Too Basti. bad you won't be at SOE Live. Sorry, sorry, bro. I hate that. You tried. Anyway, some what is what is Just this? Somebody's kicking us out is now, man. Up? Apparently, time. it's time's no, it's okay. up. Oh yeah. It's, all right. Well, anyway, well, we'll see you guys later. See you in a month. Next time, it'll be after, right after SOE Live, and we'll have some good stuff to show you. It's going to be awesome. And it's going to be good times. Oh, man. Too many pitches. I can't wait for people to see what they're going to get to see at SOE Live. Too many pitches is at Speedo, dude. Trust me. Oh, yeah. Too many. I'm going to oil it up, too, and be like, oh, yeah. Size always matters. <laughs> it does, don't it? I got to get a couple socks. Yep. Stuff it. Stuff it. All right. Peace, everybody. Later. Bam. Later. Sony.